Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So I'm finally filming in my new house. It's been um two, three weeks. Two weeks. Feels like forever, but I'm pretty sure it's only been two weeks. So today we're just gonna play with some makeup. Um, do another little summertime makeup tutorial. And so to start off, I'm going to prime my face. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is my two-in-one prime, rose primer water by Wet n Wild. Then I'm going to go ahead and go on with my Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer and just prime my face with it. And lastly, to fill in my pores, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my go in with my brows, and I'm going to be using this brow pom brow pomade by Milani in the shade 01 Soft Brown, and we're just gonna go ahead and fill those in. And I just used the little brush that it came with, which I think is pretty good. But also, I just started using a pomade. This is like the first time I'm doing my makeup since like the last week of May. I honestly cannot remember the last time I did my makeup because even if you watch my most recent vlogs, like I haven't been wearing makeup. It was at this moment I knew I messed up. So obviously I am still learning with the pomade. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and take some concealer and just prime our eyelids. And this is this is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I'm just going to take this flat brush and blend that out and kind of just clean up my brows just a little bit. Not really sure why this eye ended up with so much more than this eye. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and put the tape right here because I am going to do a wing with eyeshadow. And so I just want that. And I stick it to the back of my hand and rip it off so that way it's not too harsh on my skin, well, too harsh on my face, facial skin whenever I go to rip it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be sh taking the shade, um, she doesn't really have the matte cream shade in here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go on to my Makeup Revolution ultra blush palette and i'm going to be taking this cream shade right here i'm going to use this to set set that concealer on my eyes i have an eczema spot acting up right here and of course it would start acting up whenever i choose to start filming but it doesn't help that like we were just getting so busy that I was not doing my nighttime skincare routine and I was barely doing anything for my morning time. And so my face is going bonkers. Like I'm having all these breakouts on my forehead and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. And I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush and I'm going to be taking the shade Silk Cream and buffing that into my crease. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and 
That silk cream shade is really, really, really pretty. I love it. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade Creamsicle and do the same thing, but on a smaller crease brush. And this is the pointed crease brush. And I'm going to just really try to focus that closer towards the outer V and lower part of my crease. We're not going to do it as blown out as we did the shade Silk Cream. Going back in with that first brush that we used Silk Cream with and we're just going to make sure that everything is seamless and blended out. These eyeshadows on the eye look so pretty like you guys can't tell like you guys can't tell like on camera but like this looks so pretty on the eyes. And so the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take the same brush that we blended out that concealer with and we're going to take the shade beam and we're going to put that all over our lid not all over but like the inner part of our lid Okay, going back in with a little bit of cream sickle, we are going to be buffing that out. Just making sure that that line is not too harsh. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going in with an angled brush just like this. And I'm going to take the shade Twerk. And I'm only going to go on like one side of the brush. And I'm just going to begin to line my eyes with that shade. Okay, so that is it for the uh, oh let me let me get this brow bone and i'm going to take the other end of that brush and go in with the shade in white and just highlight that brow bone okay so now we can pull these off and voila no effort winged eyeliner and very clean eyeshadow so today for foundation, I'm taking the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation in the shade M10. I'm just going to give that a shake. Okay, and I'm just going to pump it on my Beauty Blender. One pump, two pumps, and then one more. And we're going to blend this out. sun's coming in and out because of it's kind of cloudy outside it kind of looks like it wants to rain but then I also have my ring light going I meant to do an empty house tour but the day we moved in it took them so long to turn on the electricity and so yeah that didn't happen and then like I wanted to do because obviously the next day would have been like not an empty house tour but would have had boxes and stuff and so I didn't want to do that and no, and then we were just enjoying it, which is why like I didn't unvlog me packing or vlog me unpacking. <gasps> Excuse me. And so yeah, we've just been enjoying our new house. My sister's been coming to down, the one that lives in Colorado, and uh she she was here from Saturday till yesterday, and then they'll be coming back on either Monday or Tuesday. And the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer, and I have mine in the shade light beige number 20. And then I am using my wet and wild sponge today. So now I'm just gonna go in with the pointed side and blend everything out and be care very careful not to mess up 
that wing or eyeshadow wedge. Now I'm going in with just a tad of the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to just take some of that off and put a dot under each eye and blend that out. And you have to do it quickly because if you do not work with this concealer quickly, it ruins your whole makeup look. I haven't done my makeup in so long that this feels so good. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my Makeup Revolution All About Bronzed palette. And I'm going to take this first shade and set everywhere that I put that concealer. I'm not going to set anywhere else. Okay, now we're gonna go back in with the go back in and work on the eyes just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. My skin looks terrible right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my telescopic carbon black mascara and coat those lash top lashes. Okay, so while I work on my lower lash line, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Kiss Lashes and the Style Flirty. I'm gonna go ahead and get some glue on these and work on my lower, lower lash line while I allow these to have some time to dry with the glue on them. So of course, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush such as this, make sure there's no color on it, like this. And I'm gonna go first go in with the Silk Cream and buff that all over my lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to be a little bit more precise and go in with orange sickle. Going back in with my Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara and filling in that coating my lower lashes. Now I'm going back in with my lashes and I'm just going to start to apply those. 2,000 years later. So eyes are done, that took forever because those lashes are so hard because the band is so thick. So now I'm going to go back in with this palette and I'm going to take this shade right here and bronze up the face with that. Next, I will be going in with my Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle blush and applying that to the cheekbones. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and go. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sugar, and I'm going to be mixing butterscotch and marsh marshmallow. Goodness help if I could talk correctly. Okay, then I will only be taking the shade Butterscotch and highlighting the inner corner with that. That is super golden, super highlighted today, super cute. And I did forget to go in with my NYX uh, keeping it tied nude eyeliner on the waterline Lies I'm out So anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up that lower lash line. Okay, go ahead and combine the lashes Next, I'm gonna go with my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Ready for Red and line my lips with this. I'm 
Next, I'm gonna go in with my Revlon lipstick in the shade 053 Soul Lit, and this is from the matte line. Okay, so next thing, the last, one of the last steps is I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Wow Brow Setting Gel. And I do this last so that way if there is any powder on my brows that just make my eyebrows look not so cute, this will help that powdery look go away as well as keep the brow hairs in place. And last, finally, last step, going in and setting my face. I'm actually about to run out of setting spray. I need to go get some more. Doesn't help that I spray my face 15 million times and I just spit everywhere because I can't control my drool. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope that you enjoy this summery July 4th inspired makeup tutorial. I think that this would be super cute because it's just a simple blue wing. You don't have to go full out with red eyeshadow, full out with blue eyeshadow while adding a red lip and just like a white shimmery, whitish <laughs> shimmery shade on the lid. Remember, I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. New videos will be coming soon. If you liked this one, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, Go ahead and sub subscribe to my channel. I don't know which side it goes on. Anyways, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.